Good day, grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And the title of our lesson is Visualizing and Representing Numbers from 0 to 100 with Focus on 0 to 10. And to start, we'll have our story time. And the title of our story is A Day at the Zoo. Now, Jim and Liz went to the zoo one day. They were so happy to see all the animals there. They asked the zookeeper if there was a flamingo in the zoo, but they were told none. So Jim asked Liz if they could play a game called Counting Animals to know how many animals they could see there. Jim and Liz saw and counted the following animals. There was zero flamingo in the zoo. When it is zero, it means there is none or nothing. So, zero flamingo in the zoo. So, we write zero this way and this is the number symbol for zero. Next, there was one elephant in the zoo. This is the number symbol for one and this is one when written in word. And there's one elephant in the zoo. Next, there were two hippopotamus in the zoo. This is the number symbol for 2, and this is the word for number 2. So, there you go, the two hippopotamus. Next, there were three tigers in the zoo. We write 3 this way in word, and 3 in number symbol. This is how number 3 looks like in number symbol. And these were the three tigers in the zoo. Next, there were four lions in the zoo. This is the number word for four, and this is the number symbol for four. So, four lions. Next, there were five monkeys in the zoo. This is the number word for five, and this is the number symbol for five. So, five monkeys in the zoo. Next, there were six giraffes in the zoo. This is the number word for six, and this is the number symbol for six. So, there were six giraffes in the zoo. Then, there were seven peacocks in the zoo. We write seven this way in word, and seven in number symbol. So, seven peacocks in the zoo. Next, there were eight zebras in the zoo. This is the number word for eight, and this is the number symbol for eight. So, the eight zebras in the zoo. Next, there were nine owls in the zoo. We write nine this way in word, and nine in number symbol. And these were the nine owls. There you go. And of course, there were ten parrots in the zoo. This is the number word for ten and the number symbol for 10. So there were 10 parrots in the zoo. There. Now, I would like to give other examples for you. So, this is one panda. These are two turtles. These are three tarsiers. These are four gorillas. These are five rabbits. These are six koalas. These are seven canaries. These are eight raccoons. These are nine ladybugs. And these are ten clownfish. There you have it. Good job, my dear grade one. Now you already know how to visualize and represent numbers from 0 to 100, especially from 0 to 10. Good job!